All right, <clears throat> if you have an, an unknown at Drake, T4XB at home, and you want to make sure the second stage of it's working well, there are injection crystals that correspond to these band switch settings. And if you are lucky enough to have the manual, you can look at the uh, frequencies here, and you can see they go up as the band goes up. So you can see that they start at 14.6 for 80 meters, 18.1 and 40, 25.1 on uh, 20 meters and on 15 it's 32.6 and 39.6. So again, I'm going to use the RTL SDR to check these and I have the wire from the RTL SDR just kind of under the radio coming off that connector from the RTL SDR going under the radio just kind of looped around where the crystals are down there. <clears throat> so let's check it out. So we're going to move it to 80 meters here and see what we can see. So I'm gonna go here. Okay, so you can see now it's kind of uh, piddling around. You can see there's some, there's some RF right there at 14.6 uh, coming in. And if I turn the knob here a little bit, if I kind of rock the knob and change bands, the uh, signal disappears. So that's a good sign that you have that first one working. Now, second one here, is going to be 18.1. So let's take a look for that one. 18.1. Okay, yeah. There it is right there. 18.1. It's in the purple there. So, whoops. Let's uh, turn the band switch here. Disappears. So that's correct. We have. 18.1 injection working. Advance it now to uh, 20 meters. And 20 meters is what? 20 meters is going to be 25.1. Let's look for 25.1. 25.1 right there. So, yep, that works. 20 meters is active. Okay, so that's good. The next band we're going to go to is 15 meters, right there. 15 meters is 32.1. So we're going to step up here to 32.1, 32.1, right there, 32.1, it's working fine. Let's move the band selector and see if it goes away. Yep, it sure does. Okay, and the last band to check is 10 meters. 10 meters is 39.6. Move it to 10 meters. 39.6. 39.6. Yep, there it is right there. So all the bands work. So if I had a mixer tube, I could see if there's uh, handband frequencies coming out of this thing, but I have no mixer tube and I have no driver tube yet, so gotta wait for those. But it looks like what I can test on this thing is working, so that's a good sign. Uh, I could probably check the uh, oscillator there. That's gonna be around nine megahertz. Let's see if that one will go. I think that'll go when I key it. So if we go down here to nine megahertz, where's nine? Right about there, 9.5, okay. So for that, I can pull that wire out and move it around a bit. Hopefully it won't get shocked. Here your wire's out. Now, I wanna take this wire here and just kind of loop it around the uh, meaningful tubes that are working over there. So we'll loop it around here. That looks like it might be an oscillator right there. So let's get that in the situation here. And see what we can see. There we go. Now, do we have anything strong here going? I think it's around 9.3 or something. Oh, there's something there. 
Now if I key it, it should do something here. Let's see. I want to go to SSB, yes. Separate, yes. Okay, so I key the mic and what happens? Anything? Do I see any carriers coming in? No. Change it like to USB, let's see. Okay, SSB, go lower like that. Do I see anything here? No. Am I on the right frequency? I don't know. I should see some signal here. Don't see much. I might need the mixer for this, I'm not sure. I thought this worked independently, but it should. There's something right on nine. Can I modulate this thing? I got tubes in for modulating. Let's give it some, uh, give it some gain here. Let's see. Where's my gain? There's my gain. I'm on full gain now. Test, test, one, two, test, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, no, I don't see anything. Actually, I should read the manual. Okay, well, that's anyway how to check the uh, the crystal injection. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.